somewhere in the Northern Rivers area. Three of the world's finest culinary experts have come together in search of one. One man to become Australia's next Mr. Cook. Previously on Mr. Cook. You two did the worst in the team challenge. I'm shocked. I thought we produced a good looking and good tasting dish. This is really yucky. I thought we worked well together too. Need some. Andrew was the one letting us down. I'll see you tomorrow in the pressure test. Now I just need to refresh myself and focus on tomorrow's challenge. It's now up to me to show the judges I'm not the weakest link. It's a new day and a new challenge in the Mr. Cook kitchen. Could be my last. Welcome back. New day, pressure challenge. I'm ready for it. For today's challenge, you have to cook this. As soon as he lifted the cloche, I knew what I was going to make. Red lentil fingers, a potato and hummus mash, and blanched beans. Easy. You can come and taste this. The judges offered us a taste of the dish, and now I'm worried. Red lentils are not my thing. I don't want to let down my family or my cats. The food was calling me, and I could pick up on those aromas and all those subtle flavours much better than Andrew. Mm, I know what I need to do. Sean said he knew what he was going to do, and for me it just doesn't look good. You've got one hour. Your time starts now. I'm cutting up the onion and I get it in my eye. It's nothing I can't handle. I start by peeling the potatoes and chopping the onion um, because I know they're the base for my dish. In the process of cutting, I nick my finger, but I can't stop. And in this confusion, I forget to peel the potatoes. I drop the carrot. Um, but I look over at Sean and he's already ahead of me, so I pick it up and just keep grating. Yeah, I probably should have washed it. As I put on the lentils, I look over and see that Sean must have hurt himself. So I go over and give him a hand. You can peel potatoes. Yeah, but you don't need to peel them. You can still, like, even though it's peeled, you can still mash them. It's like, just extra. Okay, okay. When Andrew's on my side of the kitchen, he's not a help, he's a hindrance. Your thing's boiling over. Rule number one, don't take your eye off the boil. I may not peel my potatoes, but at least I don't leave my pot on the heat. Taste my hummus and realise it needs more lemon. While I'm adding it, all the seeds fall in just as the judges come up to see how I'm going. Where are you up to, Andrew? Oh, I've just got the, I've got the um, mix on, the lentils on, and the potatoes, they're pretty much done. I've done the um, hummus and I've just got to cut up the beans um, to get them on. Your bench is a bit messy. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay, I'll clean that up. I'll get that going. Are you going to win today? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling fairly confident. Um, I think my flavour's good as long as they um, they enjoy the taste of it because I've, I've tried really hard to make the flavours good. Um, Sean's a bit ahead of me at the moment, but I think it should be okay. I'm embarrassed about my mess. How are you feeling, Sean? Yeah, I'm feeling really confident. I've got my mash on, I've got my beans on um, for my patties and I'm just getting all organised. Yeah, and I'm a little bit ahead of Andrew, and I won't be going home today, I'm pretty sure. Shouldn't you take that off the heat? 
Put on the heat. Call me Andrew. Okay, good luck. You have 10 minutes to go. We have 10 minutes to go and I look over at Sean and he has these perfect triangles. And I look at mine and realise they're a little bit less presentable. I just lose it. <laughs> so I'm frying my triangles and they're just a tad too crispy. Is that you I smell burning? No, it's not me. Maybe it's you. I think Sean burnt something. Error can be fixed. You should be plating up. Ten seconds. Airport. I'm a little bit disappointed in my presentation, but it tastes amazing. It was a stressful hour, but I'm fairly happy with the taste of my dish. I guess we'll just see what the judges have to say.